here I am. So I'm really um feeling led at this moment um to start a seven day prayer. Um, God has been placing it on my heart to pray um, even more. So I know it's not my average daily praying that I normally do because I pray every day. So I know it's he's drawing me in to pray more um, intently and intensely as well. Um, I started feeling like that maybe Friday. And so it was confirmed as well on Saturday with the sermon that, that was given by the guest preacher. And so even right now, as I'm listening to it right now, um, listening to it over again, I really feel led to start praying. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, seven day prayer. If it, if it goes on longer than that or whatever, um, you know, God leads me to do so be it, but I'm just going to start praying right now. Um, if you'd like to join, you can, um, if not, that's okay as well. Um, whenever you do hear, hear these prayers, just, you know, stay in agreement with them. Um, and you know, continue to add to it if you'd like. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to jump in before I, you know, allow my flesh to take over and decide to back out or change my mind or whatever the case may be. So I'm just going to start praying right now. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord God. We thank you for, um, just speaking to us every day on, on a daily, um, every hour on the hour, every minute of the day, every second of the day, you are always speaking. You are always revealing yourself to us, Lord God, whether that's in spirit, whether that's in signs and wonders or Lord God, just anything, um, even on the surface, but most, most importantly, our inner, inner self, Lord God, when we hear you, we know it's you and then you confirm it with outside things or, or just, just yourself, Lord God. So right now we're just coming before you and just telling you, thank you. Thank you for the gift that prayer is, Lord God. Thank you for allowing us to communicate with you, Lord God. Letting our requests request be made known to you, Lord God. Your word says that um, when two or three are gathered there, you are to bless, Lord God, to do and to bless, Lord God. Um, the prayers of the righteous availeth much, Lord God. So we ask that um, our prayers are availing, Lord God, when we pray these these prayers, Lord God. For we are righteous, not by our works, Lord God, but by our faith, Lord God. Um, our faith in you, Lord God. So just hear the prayers of your righteous. Lord God, we just say thank you. We thank you for allowing us to see another day. We thank you for the health in our bodies, Lord God. If we are not um, feeling like we are our best selves or our most healthiest selves, Lord God, your word says that we are by, by his stripes, we are healed, Lord God. So we are already healed in Jesus' name before we even see it, before we even feel the healing, before we see the healing, Lord God. We are healed. Our our, our children are healed. Our, our, our families are healed. Our spouses are healed, Lord God. Healed, Lord God the people you have called to be um around us lord god surrounding us lord god family friends lord god um even enemies lord god we pray for the healing for your people lord god we pray for the healing of the of the land lord god your word says you'll heal our land lord god by our prayers you'll heal our land if we are obedient and we steadfast lord god in your word lord god you will turn and we turn from our wicked ways and we repent that you would heal our land lord god so heal our land heal our families lord god heal our spouses heal our hearts lord god for the for the sins that we've committed against you lord god the sins we committed against each other lord god we just say thank you lord god we just say thank you and thank you and thank you we can't thank you enough for the for the second chances for the new mercies for the new grace you give us and that we receive every morning lord god every second of the day lord god we just say thank you lord god for the breath in our bodies lord god for the air in our lungs lord god we just say thank you for providing when when we know no way out lord god when we see no way out lord god you are alpha and omega lord god you are jehovah jireh lord god you are the prince of peace lord god you are the provider lord god we just say thank you lord god that even when we don't have but you have it even when we don't um see it, you, you see it before us, Lord God. And so anything that you tell us, any direction you you give us, Lord God, we are going to follow that, Lord God. Blindly, we will blindly follow you, Lord God, to the, to the edge of the cliff, to the ends of the earth, Lord God. We will follow you, Lord God, because there is no better place than to be but in your in your presence, in your dwelling, in your hands, in the palm of your hands, Lord God. It is in your hands that we are, Lord God. It is in your hands that the world is in, Lord, Lord God. And nothing can happen without you. Nothing can happen without you saying so, Lord God. Nothing can ha happen or be allowed without you allowing it to happen without you allowing it to come to pass Lord God so we just ask you right now Lord God in the name of Jesus for strength for strength for courage for wisdom to continue on our journeys Lord God to accept the callings on our lives Lord God for our for the people you've connected us to to accept the calling on their lives Lord God we pray for our spouses we pray for our kingdom marriages we can't pray for our kingdom families Lord God we pray for our kingdom businesses Lord God we pray for our kingdom um 
kingdom ministries lord god anything that we do we do it unto you lord god anything we do from today we move forward we do it unto you lord god and thank you for anybody that we have we have chosen or you know decided to go along a path or a journey that you turned us around and decided no this is the way i want you to go we thank you for that lord god because any door that closes lord god we thank you for that any door that opens lord god we thank you for that too because a closed door is protection lord god a closed door is protection from the enemy a closed door is protection from, from a route we do not need to take lord god prote um, protection from from anything that would harm us lord god or try to harm us lord god or try to take us out scripture says the enemy was he 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 roams like a roaring lion trying to sift those out to see kill and destroy and sift those out as wheat lord god we just say thank you lord god for your protection we say thank you for your protection protection protect us from witchcraft from voodoo from from um black magic from candle work from spell work lord god anything that is demonic that is not of you lord god we pray against any music we pray against any um any any tv um programs lord god any um radio um programs lord god that is having us to to be um harmed harming to your people lord god we just say thank you thank you thank you for your protection in advance thank you because eyes have not seen ears and i'm not has have not heard nor has it entered in the hearts of men the plans that you have for us lord god and jeremiah 29 11 says the um, plans um i have for you lord god um the plans you have for us lord god we are we don't even know it lord god we can't even see it lord god but you had them before we were informed in our mother's womb lord god we just say thank you for those plans thank you for those plans where we maybe once rejected at first lord god but we are accepting it now lord god we are accepting our callings lord god we're accepting our ministries that you called us to, to start we're accepting this prayer right now lord god this prayer challenge this prayer task lord god this prayer um this prayer um, meeting, Lord God, that you have called us to start, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we just say thank you. We want to, to continue to be able to pray to you, not only um, our daily prayers, Lord God, but we want to be more intentional with the how we pray. We want to be more intense with how we pray. We want to be praying in the spirit. We want to worship with spirit and in truth, Lord God. And we want our prayers to be praying with spirit and the truth, Lord God, to follow your ways, Lord God. And um, and we know that you have called us, Lord God, and you work everything out. Romans 8, 28, you work all things together for the good of those who love you and are called according to your purpose, Lord God. To your purpose, Lord God, we have been called. Your scripture says many are called, but few are chosen, Lord God. And the few that are chosen, Lord God, are on this prayer right now, Lord God accepting the call accepting the the duty that you have given us lord god because it, it is an honor it is an honor to serve you it is an honor to be in your family it is an honor to be in your kingdom lord god so we do think we accept the calling not for money not for love not for fame not for tasks not for not for material things lord god but we just want to love you and adore you and give you back the love that you received on us lord god we, we fear you lord god and it's not a fear of being scared it's a reverence lord god we reverence you lord god because we know there is no better place that we can be than in your hands lord god so grab those people lord god who are lost scripture says you leave the 99 you go after that one go after that one lord god our prodigals lord god our god ordained spouses lord god because the structure in and and the family the foundation that it is being attacked by the enemy is being attacked lord god because he knows that where that's where the, our strength lies lord god in the family the strength lies in the family lord god and our families build communities and our communities build churches lord god and our church lord god is not just the church that's within the building the church is your people lord god anywhere people gather lord god to glorify and edify your name lord god is the church lord god so we are the church right now we are the church even if we're on youtube if we're on instagram or on tiktok we are still your church lord god and you've come for your bride you come for your church lord god you come for your bride you are the bridegroom lord god and we are married unto you lord god so you protect us and you provide for us just like a, a a natural husband would lord god just a natural father would lord god you are our heavenly father and our and our physical father scripture says you are the father to the fatherless lord god so thank you lord god thank you for being our father be the father to us be the father to our god our things spouses to our father father to our children who are missing um physical fathers lord god um you are the mother to the motherless as well lord god fix these broken homes lord god in any home that is broken permanently lord god you you rectify it, lord god in the name of jesus you put your spirit there lord god until you decide to replace it if you decide to replace it with a natural being lord god if not lord god you will suffice as well lord god just fill our hearts heal our hearts lord god in in the name of Jesus, we just say thank you. We thank you for allowing us to pray. We thank you for allowing us to have the secrets that are, um, be known to us that you tell us as your friends, Lord God. Scripture says that you, you call us friends because you give us you give us um, your your secrets, Lord God, because you call us our your friends, Lord God. We are your friends. We are your children, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we say thank you. We thank you. It is an honor to be able to do this. It is an honor, Lord God. And we're not going to care what nobody is thinking about us. We're not going to care what nobody has to say about us, Lord God. We are not fearing um, the enemy, Lord God. We have the power in the name of jesus we have the power from you lord god nothing is too powerful for you nothing is too hard for you lord god everything everything is under your um hands lord god 
in the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was with God. In the beginning, you've always been there. In the beginning, you were always there, Lord God. So we ask that you continue to be with us, continue to be with us in the end, Lord God, as we follow the will for our lives, your will for our lives, Lord God. We no longer want what we want, Lord God. We want what you want for us, Lord God. And we ask that everybody gets in, in, in line. Everyone gets on board, Lord God. And any demonic um, assignment, you cancel it now in the name of Jesus. Any demonic altar, you burn it to the ground in the name of Jesus, Lord God. The enemy, the enemy will not wreak havoc on our lives anymore. He will not cause destruction on, in our lives anymore. We will stand up. We have the power to rebuke him. We have the power to rebuke him in the name of Jesus. We have the power to plead the blood of Jesus Christ over our children, over our families, over our loved ones, over our God-ordained spouses, over our ministries, over our communities, over our schools, Lord God, Lord, Lord God protect our children the enemy is attacking attacking our children so um so intently he knows that uh, if he can if he can stop the seed from growing at its at its at its roots lord god then he doesn't have to worry about the plant in the future but we cancel that now in the name of jesus we ask for protection of our children protection of our children cover our children lord god he cannot have them the enemy cannot have them lord god because it is that when we are children, when we are childlike, you said we can enter the kingdom if we were only like a child, Lord God. And so our children, they're the most innocent right now. They're they're they're, they're at the weakest right now, Lord God. And so we cover them. We stand in the gap for our children that He will not have any power over them. That He will no longer be able to put His demons inside, His spirits inside of them, Lord God. We they have been called to raise up for a new generation, a royal priesthood for your for your um power, Lord God, for your kingdom. And it's your precious Son, Jesus' name, we pray, Lord God. We thank you. We thank you. We honor you. We thank you for this um. Um, this idea to pray for seven days, Lord God. Seven is the number of completion. We will continue to pray, Lord God. We will pray for our families. We will pray for our homes. We will pray daily throughout the day, but we will be more intent, intentional on praying to, as a community on this platform for seven days, for the next seven days, including today. It is your precious son, Jesus' name I pray, and I thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. So again, I'm going to be praying for the next, I guess, six days now. You, you know, you can stay in the gap for your children, for your family, for your friends, um, whoever you want to add to this list, you can. If you want to comment, your comment names, you can. If you want to share this, you can. Um, we're not caring about anybody looking at us, anybody has to say about us, anybody has an idea about us, or whatever it is, it doesn't even matter. We're here for the Lord, we're here for the kingdom. We are not ashamed. We are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are not ashamed. This is what we came here to stand on, and we have the power in the name of Jesus. Okay, scripture says things come by out by prayer and fasting. So I do not feel um, called to add a fast to this as of right now. If God causes you to or allows you to or leads you to add a, fa add a fast to this prayer. But right now I'm just going to focus on praying because I feel like that's heavily, strongly what God has given me to focus on right now. And so I will catch you guys again tomorrow. Um, again, we will be praying every day um, for seven days. Um, thank you so much for listening. Um, for standing in, in agreement with this. Um, have a great day, and I'm praying for you as well.